to the Mr. New Vegas show, the show within my opinion, which I respect, the best looking audience around. Somebody prove me wrong? If you like news, you're gonna love our next segment. A Legion slaver party was wiped out in a failed raid of the Bitter Springs refugee camp, with two armed civilians inflicting heavy Legion casualties. One witness said, quote, God sent us two angels, and at least one had him a 308 caliber flaming sword of justice with a telescopic sight. One more story for you. Gamora is under new management after the sudden departure of Omerita bosses Nero and Big Saul. The casino's new manager spoke to reporters. Before he left, Nero told me him and Big Saul were real tired, see? Said they were gonna go camping up at Lake Mead. Said he'd always wanted to sleep with the lake lurks. Today's headlines were brought to you by Prem. Prem, the other New Vegas. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. If you're wondering why I sound a little perturbed right now, it's because of Night Tours right here still refusing to come out of her little hidey hole. I literally tried everything in the book. Even Rex is getting fed up with her bullshit. I've literally tried everything in the book to get her to come out. I've tried reloading saves. I've tried pissing off the Brotherhood to get her to come out to try and glitch the door down here to stay open. I've done everything shy of nuclear weapons. Hmm, actually... Nah, that would just be too much of a mess to clean up. So, either she's gonna have to come out on her own, or... I can never get into the Brotherhood Armory, and I pretty much said been screwed out of this for the rest of the game. Of course, that will just be another thing to tack on to alternates and extras to show off what happens if you do give her back her damn laser pistol. I hope she chokes on it. Anyways, welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we did some favors for the Brotherhood of Steel here in Hidden Valley. We met with some of the patrols that have been sent out to spy on the NCR and the Legion to see what's been going on in the Wasteland. We also found the remains of the other patrols that they sent out to try and find some supplies to fix their air purifiers. We also gave Eddie to the Followers of the Apocalypse and luckily enough, they have him waiting for us right, right back at... Uh, Prim, which is kind of funny since uh, Mr. New Vegas was just talking about Prim as their sponsor for this video. So we're going to be heading back to Prim, we're going to pick up Eddie, and I hope you're ready for vaults! Because we're going to be going to a lot of vaults this video. we got to go back to Vault 3, which honestly isn't that much of a trouble since that place is completely cleaned out. Uh, we're also going to be going to Vault 11, and if we have time, go to Vault 34, because that's where the pulse gun for Veronica's personal quest is. So, let's go. I hope for, I hope Taurus chokes on her down in her little hidey hole. See if I can do anything for her ever again. You know what? I am half tempted to just detonate this bunker and just be done with it. Whew. Alright, so that I need to get that off my chest. Hey, you know what, Rex? You you did me good. I love ya. But man, you are just not built for combat. It's time for us to part ways. Don't worry, this won't be the last I ever see you. I actually do have some stuff for you before this series ends. Just go back to the Lucky 38 and enjoy some kibbles and bits. I don't know. Just enjoy some canine crunchies. Maybe you'll bulk up what remaining biological form you have and can actually take down people. Hmm. Oh yeah, because I was w I waited like half a week to see if she'd come out of her stupid little hole and apparently she's not. She's very stubborn. Alright, off to Prim. And you know what? In fact, I'm probably going to stop at Gunrunners before we head off to Vault 3 just to sell the wares I got from the the assassin party that we took care of uh, last video. I was gonna sell it to the Brotherhood, but apparently Taurus is... Where the hell are you going? Hey! Hey! I know I was on a rant earlier, but it didn't mean it against you. Where the hell are you going? Come back! I want to give you scorpion glands! Alright, fine. Screw ya. Have I truly become the monster in this world? Or has this world turned me into a monster? 
Just one of the many philosophical questions I have for myself. Also, you probably should wash these windows in this sidewalk. It's probably not doing good for business. Nash, I have a delivery I need to pick up. Quest completed. Eddie, my love. Nice to see you, Eddie, and you look a bit cleaner than before. Companion protocol, begin. Eddie's giving me the enhanced set. The enhanced sensors. Now, Eddie, he, he's a little cleaned up now. As you can see, his license plate is sadly gone, which deep in, deeply saddens me. <clears throat> I mean, that's where his name came from. Uh, but as you can see, his weapon is much more powerful. In fact, doing this quest for the uh, Followers of the Apocalypse upgrades Eddie's weapon system so much... He actually rivals the Alien Blaster. In fact, his weapon system is basically that. Eh, there's a convict over there. I wish I could test that he's new weapon systems on him, but sadly, I think he's out of reach. I think he's up on the roller coaster. Or maybe not. Eddie, you know what? Let's go and see if we can test it out. Uh, wait, no. Where the hell is this guy? To be honest, I've never actually been to this part of the roller coaster. I've never actually been behind here. See, maybe there's something useful over here. Look, there's a convict walking right up the coaster. Well, at least I'll get some target practice in. And... Boop! Got him, coach. Wee! Splat. We had to aggro the other guy, and now he'll try and kill me. No, I don't even know where he is. He could be on the roof. He could be glitched into the ground. It wouldn't have been the first time something glitched out on me. And it probably won't be the last time. Alright, so now we got Eddie. I'm going to see you at Vault 3. I'm going to make a quick stop at Gunrunners to sell my extra wares and possibly pick up a new weapon or some ammo. So, I'll see you in just a little bit. Alrighty then. We are back back and sorry about the mess around here I some fiends decided to crash the party as soon as I came out of fast travel but I went back to the uh, gun runners and went lo and behold picked up a new gun and I got the bozar I'm also wearing the science suit because eh, you know what we're going to devolt it's very scientific and technological so it makes sense to wear something equally as scientific but we got the Bozar, it's the unique uh, Gunrunner's version of the Assault Rifle, <clears throat> or well, the Carbine. I've never actually used this weapon, believe it or not, mostly because I got the Gunrunner's Arsenal as a nice little token for the LP in specific. So I've never actually used it, but, well, technically that's not true, I used it to take out those fiends, but... It's a pretty cool weapon. It's a nice little throwback to Fallout 2, and anything that reminds me of Fallout 2 makes me immediately happy because that's my favorite Fallout game, period. <clears throat> so, we gotta go back into Motor Runner's area. Now, I actually could have picked up this part and we could have only had to have gone to Vault uh, 11 had I remember where the exact location of uh, this specific part was, and sadly, I didn't, even though it was literally right next to me when we took care of Motor Runner. By the way, how's it going? Yeah? Yeah, that's what I thought. Mondays, man. Reverse Pulse Cleaner. And with that, Vault 3 is done. I think we also had to go to Vault, uh, what was it, Vault 22? for one of the parts, but I think I picked it up last time we were there. Uh, let's see... First one, air filtration... Yeah, it looks like it. Hell, it might have been something in the other vault as well. I don't think there's anything in Vault 21, though. I don't think... No, you couldn't get anything from Vault 19, because there is a chance you could immediately make that place inaccessible for the rest of the game, so they wouldn't be so mean as to put something like that in there. See, the people who made this game thought ahead with some of the things, but... Then again, they didn't think of... Freaking Torres! 
I've actually been kind of trying to cut back on the swearing a whole lot in this video, even though the video at the beginning was not, like, the best note to start out on. That was mostly me just being angry at glitches. And glitches can be fun when they don't break the mold and make you angry that it's existence. Alright, so off to Vault 11. That was actually faster and not as painful as I thought it was going to be. Nice to know that I managed to get that out of the way pretty early on. What the hell? Oh, just some ants. For a second, I thought that ant was breathing fire. And I was like, no, this is not Fallout... What was, what was it? Three that had fire-breathing ants? Or something equally as ridiculous? Nope, that's actually fire-breathing ants. I thought that was just a campfire, but nope. Call me a liar, game. I always thought these were just normal ants. I don't ever remember them being fire ants. I don't even remember them being that big. Holy shit, that thing's huge. And just as I say, I cut back on the swipe. What the... Oh my god, would you guys give it a break? You're never gonna win! You can come at me with your entire army and I'll still wipe you out! Thank you, Veronica. Maybe it'll send a message to the rest of these idiots. It's not gonna send a message to the rest of these idiots, is it? Alright, fine. Let's just grab his stuff, grab his marksman carbine. I can always use more caps! And maybe I'll be able to get the... I think there's only one more Mojave weapon that Gunrunners has. And then maybe I'll move on to Mick and Ralph because I do know that they have a weapon themselves. Alright. Uh, I could call in backup, but I don't think I'm within range even though I'm literally right next to Helios. And plus, the last time I had a Ranger with me, they kind of screwed me out of a payday. I mean, I guess I could technically call in trooper support, but then again, they probably just get themselves instantly killed. The NCR is kind of fickled like that, I've come to learn. It's a good thing I came along, and plus I got powered up Eddie with me. Come on. And there it goes. Not as far as the last guy went, but just kind of sad, but eh, whatever. That's another raiding party taken care of. You'd think Caesar would get wise and say, Hey, yo, maybe I shouldn't be sending all my troops to die right before this final battle with the NCR is about ready to happen. Maybe he'll come back for revenge. Maybe he'll bring back up. Maybe he'll bring a giant robot that shoots alien blasters at us. Maybe he'll bring a vengeful NCR sniper with him. Maybe he'll be in power armor. Who knows? Maybe he'll be tripped out on drugs, the likes of which make the ending to Hardcore Henry look plausible. Maybe he's getting sick and tired of seeing all these scorpions everywhere. I always thought I thought these were just supposed to be more rats, not scorpions. And mantises. Man, the entire insect kingdom's just invaded this vault. And they were so close to leaving. Veronica! Something tells me you need to put your helmet on. Mostly because I do not want to see your terrifying war face. We all know what happened last time. Actually, you know what? We're in close corridors. A shotgun probably is the best idea. Also, hello, rats. Goodbye, rat. Thankfully, you are not the ROUSs back in the cave. Ugh, that's grizzly. Mantis! Come on. Thank you. Hmm. When's pushing me, Veronica? No, oh, that was weird. Someone's pushing against me, but Veronica is busy trying to get intimate with the table. Didn't know she sw swung that way. But to each their own. I don't judge. 
Hold on, we'll judge who, who thought it was a good idea to fill this vault with mantises. Okay, someone is officially pushing me. Maybe this place is haunted and the ghost is just trying to pull a prank on me. It's just a prank, bro. Chillax. A trooper. Why is there a trooper in here? I don't ever remember seeing a trooper in here and he's got nothing on him. Alright, you know what? I'll just close quarter stuff. Sword seems better because mostly I'm missing my shots. Nothing in these lockers. Nothing in this area exactly. Cigar lounge. That was a very shanty looking cigar lounge, I will say. Take that, rat! In here, plungers. Sadly, this is not a rabbit's game, so those plungers are useless. You know what? Th th that kind of brings me to something that I read today that honestly made me think, what are you thinking? And the fact that it is the rabbits are crossing over with a Mario game, and it's like, oh god. I think they said it was also going to be an RPG, and it's like, oh my god, what are you doing, Nintendo? But then again, Mario has crossed with a lot of things in life. I mean, he's even crossed over into our world to try and fix history. Like, everyone remembers Mario is missing. Even though technically Mario is not in that game, he's missing. And it's Luigi who crosses over into our world. Do you understand what I mean? Actually, no, Mario... Mario's time machine. That makes more sense. Mario's missing is probably what's sticking out in my mind more, mostly because I'm trying to find a copy of it. Why? Because I am that masochistic. And also, to be honest, it doesn't feel like that bad of a game. Uh, apparently we just came across a territorial dispute. In my opinion, it doesn't feel like that bad of a game. Like, okay, is it great? No, not even close to being great. But you know what? It doesn't seem that terrible as everyone makes it out to be. It's stupid, it's silly, but... It's confident. Why is there a mini you oh, God. Go away. Jeez. Missiles. Nice. I didn't think this was I didn't think this place had an armory. Thank you, Veronica. What the That That rat's head just appeared out of nowhere. Energy cells, nice. 25 millimeter grenades, nice flame review, nice, 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 nice all around. And what's in this ammunition box? It is some energy cells, nice. I say nice a lot when I find good things, but you know what? When I have to deal with like this wackadoo shit that I have to put through because no one else apparently can do it, it's nice to have little pick me ups. Ooh, this locker actually has something in it, and it's just leather armor. Wow, setting the bar pretty low for me, game, huh? I feel insulted. And now I kind of feel less insulted because you're actually giving me somewhat expensive ammunition for free. And nothing over here about you. Ooh, security terminal. Anything that I need to see? Disposition, election guide, overseer's orders, set for five. Effective immediately, the traditional selection process for the overseer's hereby ended. In, in lieu of a yearly election, a citizen will be chosen one month prior to the start of his or her term for the mainframe's random number generator, ensuring complete imperity of imperially of friend. Fairness. Man, I butchered that all to hell. A random hockey mask. Sensor modules, steam gauge assemblies. Would have been nice if I could actually craft that stuff. I would love to have made the railway rifle. Still, my personal favorite fallout weapon all around. 
Why? Because it goes choo-choo every time you shoot someone with it. It is awesome. Also, you can pin people to things. It's also it's great. Open door to vault to live. I think that... Yeah, this is the way I came. It kind of get a little turned around in the vaults if you're not paying attention. And knowing me, I do not pay attention very well. But if there are things alive in this area, that means I have not explored it yet. And hopefully by the time all this vault shenanigans is done, I will be able to return Sarah with the remaining vault suits to collect a reward. And since it's Sarsaparilla, maybe there's also a star bottle cap in here. And you know what? I, I need to take a load off. You know, fighting mantises and giant rats all night. Is it night? Yeah, it's night. You know, I just I just need a break. Let's see. More jumpsuits. More jumpsuits. And nothing else I see that's worth anything. Um that's already a place I've been to. Been here? No, I have not. It's good because that means more jumpsuits for me. And it looks like there's everything in this area. Alright, so we got a good number of jumpsuits. I can actually find the location of this damn component. Well, you're alive, so it means I haven't been down this road. I might need to pull up the map to this area. And of course I do not have a map to look at. Huh, oh, I missed this room. I'm surprised. Oh, wait. Sunset. I need my sunset. I need to damage my liver even more than it's already been. Female dorms. Veronica, do not tell anyone. Take that rat. Man, this is, vault is just making up for the lack of jumpsuits I got in past vaults. Like, it's just handed out to me like candy. Well, I guess Vault 3 had a good number of vault suits in them, but you know what I mean. Is there anything of value over here? I see empty sunset sarsaparilla bottles, so usually that would mean that there is a, uh, a star bottle cap nearby. But it doesn't look like that. It's just there to, to either troll me or just for aesthetics. Nope. Gotta grab my sunset. A lot of hockey masks in this place. Maybe there's like a hockey team going on in here. Uh, nothing of value I see. Yeah, over here, stuffs a stuffs a bottle into their dresser or about their desk. Let's see, that's done. I feel like I've been in this room already, and I have. Alrighty, so now where to go? Something tells me I need to go back up those stairs. Go this way. Hmm, security or overseer? Security? Oh, no, wait, I've already been to security. Guess it's the overseer. Hello, Eddie. Uh, yeah. There's the overseer's office. Just want to make sure everything's cleared out. 
Oh, as clear as can be. Oop! I'll take that. Thank you very much. I don't even want to know what that was. I need a key for this. Great! Can't ever be that easy. Easy peasy, kill me pleasey. The money, though, is compensation for my frustration. I did not mean for that to rhyme, damn it. Take that rat. Uh, yeah. Waypoint's leading this way, so I guess is the way to go. And I got Bug Stomper. Nice. Rank 3. Oh! God, what the hell was that? That's definitely worthy of some stim packs. Man, I feel so bad for this mantis. Look at it limping at me. Just broken leg. I feel so bad for it. I need to take it put out its misery. I didn't mean it by that much. I guess a mantis like stepped on a mine or something. Or well, might might have tripped a tripwire. Oop, what have we here? Ten millimeter rounds. Uh, I think that's just bits and pieces of the mantis. Oh, great. Swimming. Thank God I have that rebreather. And thankfully it will never go away. Of course I'm naked now. Well, in my underwear. But hey, it's a it's a price to pay for... I can't, wow, that's just there for aesthetics? Wow. Game, way to be mean. Differential pressure conduct controller. I'm saying conductor. Well, we got all our vault stuff. It doesn't mean we're done with the vault. Or the other vault we gotta go to. Alright, uh, Put my science suit back on. Oh. Hi. Goodbye. Hmm. Oh, this is just the other end of that one room. Maybe I can find that key in here? You know, it's actually kind of nice with the peace and quiet, aside from the war that's been going on outside. And, you know, the fact that I don't have to deal with a Legion raiding party is also very nice. You know, this actually seems like the most humane vault that we've been into. I mean, yes, it's, it's infested with giant insects and giant rats, but that's from the vault door being already opened. Ooh, a stealth boy. So it, it makes sense, but we don't have to deal with, like, inhuman, like, Last of Us prototype abominations, or raiders coked up on chems. It's nice to have an easy breeze vault to go through. That's what you get for setting up a barricade in a reactor room. I can't tell if that's water, that's just, like... Radiation vapor. Oh my god, enough for the swimming. There's that breather at. I've come too far to drown. Boxes, even though there's nothing ever in these boxes. I didn't mean to take that sensor module. Scrap electronics, tin can, and a, oh yeah, a lead pipe. That'll do me so much good. Empty box. Ammo is always nice though. There's that is it. That's lackluster. Police baton. And a carton of cigarettes. 
Ooh, an actual working first aid box. Thank you. Can I open this door? Oh, I can. I figured it looked like a pressurized door. I couldn't get into it. God, could you imagine how much of a nightmare this would be without the rebreather? Bre it's almost like you need the, to get where we go. Okay. Oh, it's screw it. We're maximoing this. Technically, you're not undead, but I don't care. I'm killing people in my underwear. God damn it! Let's see. Cafeteria, reactor. Did I come into here before? Yes, I have, because that is a dead man system. Unless that was. No, I haven't come into here before. Is that. Wow, someone actually set off a tripwire that wasn't me. I'm surprised. Mantis is coming in for a little late night snack and ended up getting themselves killed. Man, look at all that food. Ah, uh, too much food! Eddie! Veronica! Where are you? Alright, uh... Yeah, I'll just drop all this excess stuff then. Alright, Betty, I'll just eat it. So we'll stew, scotch, Salisbury. Alright, there we go. That's good for now. Thank God this isn't hardcore, or else all this ammo would be taking up so much space in my inventory. And that's the end of that. Oh. Hi, did I interrupt something? Just gonna. I'll put my combat armor back on. If it means I have to go back through the underwater section. The hell? Did you really break my leg? Uh, where's some rat away? There we go. Oh, yeah, limb's broken. And you know what? There we go. Much better. Prepared speech, Gus Olson, Alderman for annual overseer election. Oh, we also got the terminal password. Nice, we can go back up to the overseer's office. According to the text of the speech, she was given or scheduled to give to Vault 11 Atrium, the overseer election day, the terminal password is Betty. Good afternoon! Each year it is appointed task of Obensman not only to officiate the election, but to chronicle its to hopes that after the last overseer has finished his term and walked to his death in the chamber beneath his office, and the vault has become still that one day some excavator from humanity or perhaps some yet, un yet unknown race of super beings might find our records and incorporate them into historical canyon. But lately it has occurred to me that not really why, but I think the real reason we do it is because we want to believe that somewhere in the archives there is an answer to all this. Or perhaps that there will be one when the historical records are completed and the whole story is told you want we want it to make sense to understand why the vault's mainframe want will kill us if we do not offer one of our own to its yearly sacrifice the fully comprehended why we continue to have these elections despite the unfettered corruption that has plagued it for what may be decades by now there was a simpler time when the elections meant to shaking hands and kissing babies but now with the rise of the voting Blocks and this infestation of bribery, drug trafficking, smuggling, and God knows what else we want to know why. Wow, maybe I was wrong about this vault being the best that we've been in. We have been through the archives, I can tell you we won't find the answer there. You will find an account to the first overseer who entered the vault, the only citizen aware of the sacrifices that would have taken place, but he didn't have the answers either. If he did, surely he would have foreseen his citizens' anger when he broke the news. 
Sure, we would, would have guessed that the world would choose a sacrifice d democratically in a way that we citizens are accustomed to washing our hands of terrible deeds, and that his name would be on top of the polls, and that the simulations... The canny of, of Overseer and Martyr would forever fuse the two positions here in Vault 11. But he didn't. He had the answers no more than any of us, and that the records state that after the citizens discovered that the sacrificial chamber's password was his wife Betty's first name, and its door was unsealed and could be offered to, for sacrifice, he walked down into the room crying like a child. I can only wonder if there is no answer to be found and we are just going along with it because we don't have see any other choice. Nevertheless, I hold on to hope that we find one and urge all of you to take the journey I took to remember it wasn't long so long ago that we were ruled by the chivalry of our dignity and that those were times when we didn't have to be quite so ashamed. Thank you. Wow, so looks like civil war broke out because people were sick of sacrificing each other to the vault. And it, some people just wanted to leave the vault, some people just wanted to go along with it because they were afraid that the vault would kill everyone in it if it didn't go along with it. Wow. vault Tech is very messed up, and also, goddammit, I do need to go back through those underwater things. Wait. Entry internal, prepared speak. Oh, that's just the same thing I just read down there. I'm not reading that thing again. No way, no how. I just wish I could shoot through that window and actually just jump right into the overseer's office. That would make things so much easier instead of having to go back through the reactor area. Oh, well. Nope, can't do that. Gotta go back through the reactor. Whose bright idea was it to go through a reactor to get to the overseer? Actually... Oh, I could I could have saved myself a lot of time. And possibly radiation poisoning. I am a complete and total dunce. Oh, that is water. I I thought it was just like vapor going through the air down there. Back up to the vo There you are, Eddie. Where the hell have you been? All right, back up to the overseer's office. And we're back inside the overseer's office, and Veronica has, seems to have disappeared from this plane of existence because I cannot find her. Overseer's terminal, login, Betty, overseer order 745. Effective immediately, the traditional selection process for overseer is hereby Ended in lieu of yearly election season will be chosen one month prior to the start of his or her term with our mainframe's random number generator. I've already read this. Let's get into the sacrificial chamber, see if there's anything of value down there. Hmm. Me thinks I should probably go in armed to the T. Eddie, go find Veronica. I'll handle whatever's down here. Congratulations. Fantastic journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. Okay, guess you're coming with me, Eddie. Yes, take me, O oh holy vault lord. I'm tired of this world. Go to the light. Thou oh, got you bright. Welcome. Please sit in the chair. The show is about to begin. Oh, this is fancy. All right, I'll sit in this chair. Eddie, you're in the shot. Greetings, Martyr, and welcome. If you're here now, it means you've been offered up as a sacrifice so that your vault can continue to thrive. Currently, you may be feeling sad or angry. Perhaps you never got to have grandkids or to enjoy the pleasures of a fresh cigar. But march with your chin held high, soldier. And remember that each of us has an important role to play. For some people, their role might be to heal the sick. For others, 
It might mean they will drive a race car or fly a rocket ship. And some of us are meant to forfeit our lives for the good of the people. Sure. All right, I don't like where this is going. It's fun as driving a race car, but it's every bit as important. Let's take a moment to reflect on the moments that made your life worth living. I don't like where this is going. Time you kissed your steady girl for the first time under the bleachers at the big game. Or when you snuck out after curfew to catch that new flick that your parents wouldn't let you see because it was too scary. Boy, were they right. And who could forget... I'll say. Seeing anything by Polly Shore is terrifying. What a looker. These are just examples. Do you feel that feeling stirring in your chest as you think of these things? Good. What you are feeling is peace. You've led a great life. Living it has been its own reward. But it is only the beginning. Close your eyes now. And imagine what joys await you in the next life. The afterlife. Can you see them? Good. Eddie. Eddie, this might not end well. I knew it! Oh god, sentry bots! Thank God they are made of cardboard. And I'm out of heavy ammo, of course. Or armor piercing ammo. Eddie, you alright? Oh God, there's a Mr. Gutsy. Oh, hi. Um, actually, you know what? I got a tool for this. Where are you? Oh, crap. I don't have Nuka Breaker on me. I think I might have given it to Eddie, or I might have turned it back in the uh, Lucky 38. Uh, hold on a second, I need, I need to reload. Alright, now I can kill you. Ow, ow, ow! Whoop. Oh, there you are. Thank God for heavy combat armor. Whoop. I take back what I said. I hate this vault. Give me back the plant people. At least they died easy. Where is the Oh, you. Anyone else? Anyone else want some of this? Man, a lot of people apparently didn't like this turnaround. But with the, with, with the sentry bots, it's maybe a little bit of overkill. I mean, you know, the turrets kind of would have mopped up the floor with the sacrifices. Uh, this just seems like going a little bit overboard. Oh god, I'm over encumbered. Not again! Must search sentry bots. Must. Take. Drugs. There we go. Uh, ooh, for locker. Nothing good. Where the hell did Eddie go? Oh, there he is. Well, you did good, Eddie. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. Over at the lockdown, system recording vault 11 solution. Automated response vault 11 solution. Hmm. All right, I know you can hear me, so listen up. There's five of us left. Five out of I don't know how many. So it's over. We've talked and it's over. We're not going to send anybody to die anymore. So shut off our water, our gases, or do whatever it is you're programmed to do. But we're done listening to you. Congratulations, citizens of Vault 11. You have made the decision not to sacrifice one of your own. You can walk with your head held high, knowing that your commitment to human life is a shining example to us all. And to make that feeling of pride even sweeter, I have some exciting news. Despite what you were led to believe, the population of Vault 11 is not going to be exterminated for its disobedience. Instead, 
The mechanism to open the main vault door has now been enabled, and you can come and go at your leisure. But not so fast. Be sure to check with your overseer to find out if it's safe to leave. Here at vault Tech, your safety is our number one priority. That's messed up on all the levels. There you are, Veronica. You missed the show. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. I know I'm missing another recording that has to d talk about like the remaining survivors of Vault 11. I might, I'm probably like throw it up on like on the screen right now. And I'll just shut up for a minute. Are we really gonna do this? It's open. We could just leave. I couldn't. Not after that. We don't deserve to leave. A shining example. That's what it called us. But we were. We did what we were supposed to. Not by a long shot. Anybody would have done what we did. You ask me? That's exactly the problem. Now let's get on with this. I'll go first. Wait, wait. People should know what happened. They could learn from it. If there's anyone out there at all, I hope they never have to find out. Ready, Harry? Yeah. No, 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 wait! <sighs> All right, so with the terrible secret of Vault 11 revealed, and we beat Vault 11's terrible secret, and for some reason, oh wait, there's the vault door. I thought, like, what happened to the vault door? We're done with Vault 11, and we are never coming back. Ever. Ever. Instead, we're going to be going to another vault, because of course... That is, that is my life. My life is the living hell of you're never going to be able to escape these vaults. And man, we've been in there all night. Of course, I probably took a nap while in there. But yeah, it, it's an interesting story with Vault 11 with like the whole... Okay, we're going to kill you all if you don't comply with us. You need to sacrifice someone for the greater good. And if you don't, then everyone will suffer. But it's all a trick. We want to see that you prove in that you're not willing to sacrifice a human life to save your own hide. Even though they chose their sacrifices democratically by making whoever won the election for Overseer to be their yearly sacrifice. And then, like, the remaining people got, like, so fed up and they were so disheartened. I think they killed themselves... When it's like, oh, what have we done? We're the only remaining people. We cannot go on knowing that we, our actions, our insecurity led to this. It's some pretty heavy stuff when you really go into the backstory of each of the vaults. In fact, I would say it is probably the most messed up vault in the Fallout series to date. But... Sadly, going from a messed up vault uh, psychologically, we're going to a vault that messes me up and also buff out. Damn it. Forgot about it. Veronica. Where, the hell? Where did you? Oh, my God, you two. Pathfinding. Thankfully, I got plenty of buff out on me. We'll hopefully be able to get to Vault 34 real soon. Me? Oh, of course. Now you two decide to finally join the party. You're making Veronica, you carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? You're damn right I'm making you carry the heavy stuff. Take this. Take these laser weapons. I know you love them. Take this marksman carbine. Take these useless pulse mines and take this super sledge. Good. It, it doesn't override your thing. You still got your best melee weapon, or, well, your best unarmed weapon, and that's all that really matters to me. But as I was saying before, Veronica and Eddie's pathfinding got on my nerves. Uh, we're going to a vault that, I'm not gonna lie, actually creeps me out a lot in terms of just the uneasiness that it has. Uh, you'll understand when we get inside. I have to be deal with these geckos, and they're golden geckos to be exact. Which, if this was early game, their hides would be worth something. But since we're late, 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 late game, uh, their hides are pretty much worthless to me. But I know one thing: 
we need something with good rad resistance, and I think that this advanced radiation suit is the best bet. I'm not seeing anything that has a better rad resistance on it. Because, oh boy, this vault, not only is it literally crawling with radiation, but it's crawling with something else. Something terrifying. And once we get actually get to the vault, I can get to that. And no, it's not the geckos. Oh, hi. And it's just some more radiation. Hello. Goodbye. Hello, goodbye. So long. Farewell, Alveeters, and goodbye. Huh. Well, there goes that ammo. I'll take the... And now it's back! Okay. Now, as I was saying, the Vault of Vault 34 terrifies me to no end. Mostly because of the uneasiness I get inside. I can acquaint this vault to probably the Dunwich building from... Fallout 3, mostly because it's crawling with ghouls. Uh, they can sneak up on you easily. Uh, and sometimes I've gone in here solo, and I'm not gonna lie, I feel so uneasy going into this place just because of the ghouls sneaking up on you. Because, like, unlike, unlike like the, the mantises and the rats that I've had to deal with, they're, they're easy to deal with, and they're not really much of a threat. Ghouls, they'll swarm you. And oh god, do they swarm you. Like, a lot. And they actually are a threat, because I do think there are a few Reavers inside uh, Vault 34. And you know, Fallout and Reavers, even though they're not as bad as... Uh, uh, the Fallout 3 versions, they're still kind of a handful. And since this is sort of pseudo mid to late game uh, area, uh, they're kind of powerful, especially with like the vault security guard ghouls, because they're wearing body armor, which means they'll soak up more damage than an average ghoul will. Also, the fact that they're, they're like they're thing, they're like <sighs> things, they're like their screams that they have echo through the vault, and it just yeah, like that. It just makes my my spine chill every time. Which is why I sort of acquainted to the Dunwich building, even though it doesn't have like the flashbacks that literally like jump scare you in that place. It's still unnerving as is. And now that my fall uh, New Vegas fears have been addressed, let's get through this area as fast as we can, even though technically we need to uh, well, get into the armory because that's where the pulse gun is. Thank you. Thankfully, I have Eddie and Veronica with me, which m puts me a little bit more at ease because they'll be able to take care of anything that comes running our way. Oh, what do we hear? Broken Mark III auto dock. This is a Mark III auto dock primary used for routine surgeries. The control systems have been damaged beyond repair, rendering the auto dock useless, but the diagnostic scanning unit is still intact. There we go. And I'll just take all you. Hello? Pizza delivery. Nope, not for you guys. Thank you, Veronica. Into the water again. Of course. And it's probably poo water as well. Rebreather it is. Oh god, it's yellow. I don't want to know what the yellow is. That? Uh, the vault technician. Vault 34 utility terminal password. 
I think he's a glowing guy. It makes sense since he's... Damn it, Veronica! I hate it when they do that to me. Oh my god, why is everything in slow motion? Oh man. Okay, there we go. That was weird. And I can't get into the door because key. Bad news bears, I don't know where the key is, to be exact. It's been too long since I've been to Vault 34. Probably should have practiced this before going in. Oh, Veronica, stop scaring me like that girl. I swear, she, she does this on purpose. Like, she knows that she scares me when she just pops out of nowhere and does random things like that. She knows. Her AI is intelligent. Ooh, security armor. Nice. And this is where the boomers originated from, which makes me think, what the hell happened to make them... Why would they ever want to leave such a nice little place like this? Pump system. There we go. Oh yeah, I don't think I need a key, I think I just... Oh. Hi. I don't remember you ever being there. Oh yeah, now that the like thing has been drained, if it wasn't a key that I needed, well, I guess technically it was, but we just needed to drain the area. Oh, so far, so good. Oh! Come on. Let's see, I got, you know, we'll go with slug rounds. Let's see. Mac, uh, I think beanbags cause knockback, so we'll try beanbag rounds. I haven't actually had a chance to experiment with those, so maybe they'll be useful? And yes, of course, I did give Nuka Breaker to Eddie. Like an idiot. Although, I, in all honesty, I don't think I needed it for... For the sacrificial room, because I really didn't need it for the sacrificial room. Very hard terminal. Oh boy. Well, this would make the most sense. Resurrection! Close, but no cigar. Alright, so I think the ION would be the. I don't see anything with an I. Uh, infiltration? Closer. Transmission. Nope. Man, I'm not even going to tell you how many tries it took me to get into this terminal. There better be something good in here. Warning flooding. Massive damage to the third floor. Southern corridor due to flooding. The doors have been not automatically sealed to prevent further damage. Reactor, the system has detected moderate damage from the reactor. Please be advised of high radiation levels on the fourth floor. Jacob Sigikov to target we attack the armory. F kids nine kids G ninety four looks good finally get the D nine four K we need to win Jink Fundin 985 and Dickajin 4. Holy shit, this sounds like something I would type. This is gauge lock to Overseer. I also picked up like uh, a book right here in between. I figured out, figured that it would be like something that might have helped with the password. And the password was Thunderbird. Uh, but it was just like Overseal's journal fragment. Uh, page 66. Riots begin soon after. During the peak of the violence, the group call for free access to the armory, stormed the vaults, exit, and left. The door was sealed after them, and additional guards were stationed at the exit. This proved to be a grave mistake. With the additional guards at the exit, there were fewer patrolled the halls. None of them were prepared for the group that ambushed the armory. 
The guards were able to defend the position, but not before the damage was done. During the fight, one of the reactor's cooling vents was damaged. Hey, I leveled up! Alright, so what are we gonna put one into where? Alright, so up barter to 80, I upped energy weapons to 45, I up medicine to 80 because I think that might help with a future quest in one of the DLCs. I'm gonna need to do more research into it, but I think 80's the requirement for it. Uh, I was thinking of putting up in guns a little bit, but I think I might do that next level. Explosives, I'm down I'm never gonna be able to I'm never gonna up that again. I put one into survival because just the 32 was getting on my nerves. My OCD-ness was acting up. So I just put it the 33 just because, just to fill up the, the unneeded 1%. Alright, so there's nothing I can do over there. Maybe there is uh, something over here back in this flooded area that will lead me to my goal. And something tells me I am terribly wrong. I doubt this is going to actually help, but let's take a look at the map. Alright, so the armory is somewhere in this general direction. Vault 34, first floor. It looks like I might be on the surface of the moon here. Alright, so... This right here leads to the vault first floor. Okay, now we need to go back down to that room. I never figured, wondered why they made the vault map so convoluted. It doesn't look like I'm... It looks like there's walls where there shouldn't be walls. Okay, map, now what? Now it's telling me to go back. Maybe I have to go back up to the first floor. Uh, yeah, because the only thing that was in here was that terminal. Alright, let's go back up to the first floor and see if there might be an alternate path I need to take. Or maybe there's an alternate way to get into the armory section. Alright, so that leads to the clinic, so I'm going to go this way. Ah, there we go, armory. Veronica, ready to punch things. Oh god, these beanbag- oh, oh, beanbags uh, knock them out. Nice. Of course, I, I don't know, like, the specific map to the likeliness of knocking them out. Huh, now that makes me think, can I do a no-killing run of this game? I doubt it. Especially with Veronica, the blood-first, thirsty psychomaniac scribe that with me. Like, that girl is out for blood, and nothing's gonna get in her way. Alright, so beanbags and uh, let's see. Let's try these. I don't know what these are, but they might be something good. Ooh, reloading bench. Can I make any ammo? Nails. Good. Awesome. Great. Break down scrap metal into lead. Why not? Nothing. It's just a small little recreation room. Ooh, guns and bullets. Nice, I can actually up my guns right now. And now I think I probably should have put that one into guns. Ah, uh, well. Live and learn. Ooh, something in this locker, anything, anything, nothing. Alright, so we need to get into that armory. 
problem is we can't get into the armory without a key. But now that just makes me think, where would the key be? And best bet would be like someplace over here. I already checked the the terminal. I'm gonna go back to it and take a look. Maybe I missed something. Not that terminal, it would be the other one. That's not the right way. That's the right way. Security station A. So it wasn't the armory, that was just, this is just a security station. Let's take a look at that terminal again. I don't need to read in depth. Uh, system back, nothing. Log, that's broken. Let's go a little bit higher. Maybe there's the... Oh, wait. No. We got the, the keys for what's in the armory. I need the way to get into the armory itself. So let's try and go up. When in doubt, shoot for the stars. Also, take a lot of drugs. No, I do not actually endorse using drugs, unless it's steroids. In which case, use lots of drugs! Alright, that way is blocked off, which narrows down my choices. Oh, well, you're alive, which means I haven't explored this area. Which means something tells me I will find my solution over here. Hmm. Aha! More underwater stuff. Which means that, yes, the key must be down here. Oh god, everything's pi It's piss yellow again. Oh, that was a cup, not a cap. You idiot. You dunce. Hello. Oh, that was the password for the security terminal. Nice of me to... Uh, well, I guess the fact that I managed to hack it would mean I got the experience to level up? So I guess there's that? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your shower. Uh, here, let me get you back for you. I think I might have washed a little too thoroughly. Hi, Veronica. Let's see, Overseer's office is that way. Let's, I know I actually, maybe we should go to the Overseer's office, because that might be where the key is. Oh, there was actually a thing over here. Something tells me that the Overseer wanted to keep people out of that armory. It would make sense that he would have the key in him. Operations, Overseer's Office. Hello? Just a second, I need to freshen up for my meeting with you, sir. Uh, let's look at that Medex. Drink some cola. Radix and some Radaway. Oh god! Oh god. Alright, that's one terminal down. This reminds me a lot of, like, the Overseer's office from Fallout 1. Ow, what the hell? Veronica, Eddie, I thought you had my back. You have betrayed me. You have betrayed me. Also, I'm out of ammo. Eddie, why are you shooting normal laser blasts? Why aren't you shooting super powerful ones? Thank you. 
Veronica, where the hell did you go? Oh. Hi. Um, just a second. Alright, that got him. Overseas password and a pencil. That does not have the solution I wanted. Two millimeter rounds. Some ammo. It makes sense that these guys have 10 millimeter rounds on them since they are the security force. Uh, right here. Uh, Florida Reader, Overseas Journal. Data corrupted. Dime not. This V4 kid. Nine. A. Fisicage. Necessary for the survey. You will. Of this vault. That we are set limits on. The growth of our population. Jidis. But night for this kid. I'm not even gonna continue reading that. I've already butchered the human language as is. I'm not gonna butcher it any further. Oh, wait, no, I did not want to waste this right away. I wanted to heal. There we go. It's not great, but it'll be something. Well, I know for a fact I'm not going in there. And Veronica is making friends up above. Hello, Mr. Technician. Don't mind me. Huh. You'd figure with the Vault Technician name, you would have something of a value in there. And I need a key to get in there. Hmm. SOS. If there's anyone still alive out there, we need your help. Someone planted a bomb in the... I cannot see because the text is in the way. Someone has planted a bomb in the pool when the lower level flooded. All the doors were automatically sealed. My family and few others are trapped behind these doors. If someone could transfer control to the backup terminal, I could use it. I could get us all out of here. Please help us. And close exterior vents, reroute vault control. Hard luck blues. Whoa. Veronica, how the hell did you get in here? Someone might want to put a fan on in there or something. Let's see the external ventilation. All right, so we can seal the external ventilation, which would save the sharecropper farms. Let's let's like, let's read up on this since we're already here. Optional. We have a chance to save Vault 34's trapped dwellers by leaving its reactor intact, dooming the sharecropper farms, or shut down the reactor to help the sharecropper farms. You know what? Human life is too important. Reroute control of the vault. And I don't know... Okay, so we did save the tw trap dwellers. Good. A human life is better than some plants. You can plant plants different places or have different ways of getting food. But life is too important. Especially in this hellish wasteland that we call home, it's always nice to save a life. Even if you don't know them. I, I talk about saving a life just as I end up finished killing a ghoul. I am a big hypocrite. But hey, he was coming at me first. You saw the way he was looking at me. Oh. I thought that was another ghoul getting ready to attack, but no, it's just the overseer's burning corpse.
Alright, so now that we finally have that armory unlocked, let's head back into that section and go and collect a reward. That is not the right way. That is also not the right way. Something tells me this isn't the right way either. No, but it's not. And actually, you know what? Faster way to get to it would be to drop down in that one area. It should be not this way. Over here. And the hole is gone. Huh. Maybe we're just in the wrong room. Oh, hole's right here. There we go. Now I have a little less vague idea of where we are. My god, will I stop being over encumbered? And my advanced radiation shoe is now completely worthless. You know what? Toss it. And we'll just put on our combat armor. There we go. Much better. Alright, let's see. The way we need to go would be... Oh, we can't go that way because that's blocked off. My best bet would be to go... Not there. Do you know what I'm saying about this vault and how you can get easily turned around in it sometimes? No, wait, that just leads to the security section. Oh, our goal is so close, yet it feels so far. And behind door number one is our goal, and my god, that's beautiful. What are you, you're spoiling the view. Thank you, Veronica. I just love how she just sent him flying across the room. Thank you, Eddie, for that lackluster input. Man, look at this armory. We got grenade launchers, we got 40 millimeter grenades, we got the ammo boxes. We got all this stuff. We got more 40 millimeters. We got crates filled with sunset sarsaparilla, which looks like it would have been more for high explosives. I mean, who keeps their soda next to the next to the power? Heavy duty weapons. We got C4, we got detonators, we got pistols. We got 10 millimeters, C4, 10 millimeter. We've got a gun case with the pulse gun, what we came for. Huh. Figured it'd have more buttons and dials and stuff, you know? Oh well. It's still the electronic equivalent of a disease from Gamora. Wow, that that's a pretty image, Veronica. Uh 10 millimeter pistol. A lot of 10 millimeter pistols, combat armor, which makes sense since that would be where uh, the boomers got their combat armor designs from, or well, their armory for it. Are you st stop spoiling my groove. No, not the pistols. Go away, how are you, am I even, oh, I guess there's brain matter of you up here. Whoa, what the hell? Got a sniper rifle, which reminds me I need to go pick up that one sniper rifle by Cottonwood Cove. Ammo boxes out the wazoo. A riot shotgun, which is nice, it's actually arguably one of the best shotguns in the game. Personally, I just like the hunting shotgun for aesthetic purposes. Got a minigun, which I can use to repair the Avenger. If it needs repairing. Does it need repairing? Yeah, I can use a little bit of repairing. Did I get you under here? No, I did not. Did I get you? Yes, I did. And also, for us... 
The marksman carving. Wait, where's the weapon I was promised? I went through hell and back for a certain weapon in this vault, and by God, I will not be leaving this place without it. Ah, there it is. It's the All-American. Also, radiation poisoning. I'm going to die if I do not cure this soon. Look at all that beautiful weapons. But the All-American, when I played the vanilla game, I, and I kind of like it a little bit more than the Bozar. I, I like the Bozar, but it kind of sprays a little too much for my taste. Take that. But the All-American, it's the unique Marksman Carbine, and it's actually... I'm always a big fan of Marksman Rifles. I have always have been, like most games like this, although it's not really in the best shape right now, I will need to fix it, but it's always on point of whatever you aim it at. You aim it at something you want dead, it will get the job done. But yeah, with that, Vault, tw well, I was about to say Vault 21, Vault 34 is completed. Ugh. I'm ready to get out of this hellhole. I don't know about you. Here, Eddie, take everything! Take the assault carbines. And you can take the Bozar as well. Take those grenade launchers. I got a lot of stuff to sell to Vendertron back at uh, Gunrunners. That's for sure. And he is now over encumbered. And I think because I, I think because I'm addicted to the thing now, yeah, my endur my strength has already gone down to six, so I need to take a buff out if I want to get out of here anytime soon. I want to leave so I can end this video. Where the hell is my buff out at? Damn it, it's not enough. Alright, uh, when in doubt, fix it out. We'll just fix the Avenger with this crappy little minigun. We'll fix the American with a marksman. Still not enough. And we'll, we'll fix this combat armor as well. Oh, these are in such poor condition. But there we go. Much better. Now we can finally get out of here. Ugh. That was an odyssey. I'm sure some people probably didn't like this video a whole lot because of the fact that it was just me rambling along long while going through two vaults, but hey, we knocked all the vaults out of the game, we won't ever have to worry, ugh, sorry about that, we don't ever have to worry about going into another vault yet again. And of course, as soon as I say that, I remember I have to go back to Vault 21 to give Sarah those suits. I am a dirty, dirty liar. Um, ah, there's the stairs. And up here, let's get the hell out of this radiation-filled hellhole and never come back. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. It wasn't as terrifying as I thought it would be. I guess, you know, interacting with you guys, and by interacting, I mean detailing how much this place scared the hell out of me my first couple times playing through it, and every now and then nowadays. And plus, Veronica and Eddie being themselves and punching everything and shooting everything. It wasn't that bad of an experience. And... Pelvic Thrust! God, I don't even want to know how long we've been inside that vault. Oh, God, please do not tell me that. Please tell me that's just geckos. 
I mean, there's a lot of them. What the hell's that? Oh, that's Camp Golf. It might be geckos. I hope it's geckos. I swear to God, if it's a Legion party, I mean, it would be a good test for this new rifle. Well, I haven't heard any bullets whizzing past my head, but the thing is, I don't... Oh, wait. Oh, it's just uh, coyotes over there. That's what the red things are. Alrighty, so with that vault tech shenanigans done and over with for good, next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're going to return back to the Brotherhood of Steel. We're going to give them all the stuff we need to fix that air purifier, and hopefully we'll finally get on our good graces and possibly broker a peace treaty between them and the NCR. Uh, and hopefully Torres actually managed to get back to her location. If not, I'm blowing that bunker to hell. See you guys next time. Later.